does it feel to have a song in a Vodacom ad? <laughs> Feels, mo- feels like money. Mm. I am glad. And you know, do you know, this is why I love you. You have never been, you know, you know, uh, apologetic about why you love music. Yeah. You do it, but you do it because you can own, yes. right? Yeah. You've, you've always had a very Kanye West mentality about it. <laughs> like you want, yeah. you you want to own the first note yeah. to the last rand, of course. right? Do you think that because your mom was a school teacher and there was a lot of academia in your in your in your life growing up, yeah. do you think that's why you like that? That you you identified that I'm gonna do music and it's gonna make me a lot of money. Yeah, I think because I was forced. My mother was like, "You're not gonna do anything as a, as a hobby. If it if it's music, go study music. If you wanna dance, go study dance. Uh-huh. If you wanna do, it's not not gonna do anything as a hobby. Oh. Whatever that you wanna whatever that you wanna do. Yeah, that, that's it has a, to be your career. It has to be you you have to have fun that's with, with whatever. So convert your hope into your career. So is that it was that but was she supportive of that? Of course. But I but I but I heard it <laughs> talking to her first like but I don't understand. Those are just wanna go and play guitar. It's like really <laughs> funny. I really don't understand. <laughs> yeah, you that is king. I really don't understand. But but all the other said, like, Yeah, my my son, you can go there. I I support you. But I mean you grew up in you know, you are a product of, you know, Guamashu, right? Guamash, yes. Where Mbongeni Gamers from there. Yes. And he is like world known mm. Sarafina mm. playwright. Yeah. So th- when your mom looks at the likes of that, obviously she's not scared because she's like, well, if he's going to end up like Mbongeni, we can do this. No, no, she was scared because Mbongeni understands she was a, he was a, like a theater guy. And oh. there I am, you know, wanting to be a musician. No musician in Guamash at that time. Nobody had a career in music. Nobody. So. Zakir wants to be Brenda Farsi. How? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how is that going to happen? <laughs> yeah. And where is it going to end up? That's you know what I mean? Like, yeah. So it, it was it was something that um, that was so tough when mm. I look back. But I think she she took a leap of faith. So when you are dancing and you doing ballet in 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 Paris for yeah. six months, I think there that's when maybe she was like, okay, this thing might be. My, okay. My, my, so she didn't mind my, that you're doing ballet. She just she's just she happy just doing did, it in Paris. At least because I was in Paris. Oh, I mean, I mean, okay. I was in Paris. I was in Paris. You were in Paris. Come like, on, from one You to were Paris. a nigga in Paris Come before Jay-Z. Come on, Jay-Z Parle and Francais. Ah. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, All so, right. so of course. So I think there she was like, okay, mm. maybe something is happening. But, you know, it, it dance. Uh, my, my, my director really kicked to the love of dance of my system. Because he was so was strict. Was he mean? Yeah, he was so strict. You know, like I spent most of my time at the theater that I, I did not want to be at the theater anymore. Because oh. I remember this one time we were doing like, a, 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 before we, we had our show, before we started our show, our opening show, we were doing like the run, we were running the show. So we, we ran that show for like 30 days without any any audience, just him alone watching us and telling us wow. what, what's bad and what's what. What's it? My show, Zig, Zig, you guys you don't understand. My show is take one hour, 30, 30 minutes. <laughs> and the, my my show today is one hour, 32 minutes, 22 minutes doing my show. Oh, wow. It has to be one hour. And then the following day, my show is one hour, 30. Why you was one hour? 20 minutes, where's oui, my oui, 10 minutes? Jean Francais. <laughs> so it had to be one hour, 30 minutes. We even had a, had, a, had, a, had a phone now. Uh, my cheetah, because he didn't know how to, under, to speak. So so guys, just with that five minutes chance. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I, I find you to be that pedantic as well. Like you are very meticulous and you, you, you are the, I said, my, I want my song to sound like this. Why does it not sound like that? I, thi- I think I took it from him. You took it from there. Yeah, so as bad as he was, I, it, it helped out. But it was, uh, yeah, it was bad good at, at the same time. Because I think when we, when we started traveling Africa, because we, we did Europe, and when we started traveling Africa, he wasn't with us. Oh. It was like you oh, go, okay. and we we and we took care of the show, and this exactly. show was well, was quite powerful. But yeah. it, I, this runs, I mean, that mat- meticulous attitude runs through everything besides the music. I mean, clothing, the way you dress, <laughs> the way you present yourself, the way the music videos are put together. Yeah, because this you cannot come to it his but like this. <laughs> It's like she cannot come to the race that like this. I didn't. I don't know what you're talking about. You wanna go back to South Africa? So I, Francois. I I would assume that the you know the the your French influence because obviously it is the language of love is how you landed the hottest woman in South Africa and you convinced her to be your wife. <laughs> maybe uh-huh. yeah, maybe I was just uh, I was so thuggy there, man. How I mean, did I you told, do that? I told, I told my wife first day that I love her and I wanna marry her. Oh, oh, that'll do it. Wow. Yeah, that'll do it. Well, and then, yes, I mean, yes. you make this province and then you have to live up to it, huh? Uh, yeah, no, I was, I was serious. Um, I mean, uh, I meant it. Do you know what I tie in? Um, yeah. Because Nandi, his, his mm. wife, she was the lead in Beyonce's um, 
Black is king. Black is king. Yes. She was the leader yes. that so Beyonce picked her. So this is how this family rolls. Okay, <laughs> this family doesn't play games. But the thing about Nandi's parents is they're very educated. Like it's, it's a doctor and a lawyer, right? You know, yeah, doctor and a lawyer. So yeah. I think that is the one thing your mom did well for you because if you didn't have your music degree, I don't think Nandi's parents would have. Ah, yeah. Hey, put Tammy. Definitely, yeah. 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 No, 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 no. Zex has a qualification in music, has a qualification in, in um, social entrepreneurship. So, yeah, he wants to study. So, hey, man, I'm going to Harvard now. So. Hey, now. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Please so send us a sweater, Harvard one. I just want to. Definitely. Look. You know what? Like, that's what I want to do. Because they were like, no, um, uh, Mr. Madita, uh, we are doing this thing virtual. I was like, no, if it's virtual, can I just postpone? I, no, you want to be walk on the campus. The campus yeah. and walk the campus, Anelia. Come on, you got to feel the spirit. I mean, there. can you really rob a guy from Wamashu? <laughs> that opportunity. <laughs> ah, come on, man. you are unfair. And then you, you want to reduce everything they've done to a phone. Yeah. To just say to data, <laughs> yeah, log Zoom. in to just log in. A Zoom with Harvard. Oh, Come on, we're man. not doing that. Listen, <laughs> we are hanging out with Zex Madini <laughs> later. He's gonna perform a summer for us. On the way, we've got a surprise voice note for him. We do. It might make him a little bit teary. I don't know. I don't know. We've got a voice note for him. We've actually got two voice notes we've for got him. Two. That Osama performance, and we're still gonna chat with the man, the legend himself, Zex Madini. They'll do all kinds of things to make you feel all kinds of good. And the club Come on. on 947 and i kept on saying last year osama's the biggest song in the country it, and uh, there was a point when it was number one in the country for 16 weeks it's crazy and do you know what it is it's such a slow burn and this is what i i, I want to talk about creating osama zex is that obviously you created this knee deep lockdown yes where do you start like because it is such it is epic you know when you call music epic it is so yeah. epic that like i want to know how do you start like what was the first note um so osama he came to me the melody is really like a, a violin okay. that's that's really something that came came in my head i'm not gonna do that guys yeah <laughs> okay so um and uh so when i when i listened to the instrument i really felt like i had some goosebumps listening to an instrument alone you mm. know so like yeah it needs to be you know so because i co-wrote the song with nana Art. i'm like nana, you know nana mm. this thing needs to be it needs to be spiritual it needs to it needs to take you somewhere <laughs> and it does. but but uh, i don't want it to have any language because it's going to limit it i also don't want it to have a subject subject matter because it's going to limit that so wow. let's just let it free and, and so that anybody could interpret osama the way they want to interpret it and if it means joy then it's joy to you if it means something else, it means if it's something sorrow, else. sorrow, then it's sorrow, sorrow to, to you. you. Yeah, if it's something else, it's something else to whoever it is. So it's such an individual song. It, it, it has to be an individual song. It belongs song. to everyone One, who listens to, to it. it. The way they want to listen <gasps> to it. But that is so difficult to, to put together. Because yeah. and I think that's where the genius lies in the song. Because it's uh, when you have a when you have words and you have a chorus mm-hmm. and you have a meaning mm. in yeah. the words, then I mean you've got a direction. Yeah. Now you're trying to create a feeling. Yes, yes. Wow, I like yeah. the way you put that. You know what I'm saying? Now, yeah. now you don't. I have, I have, I have never. <laughs> no, ma'am, please, please, please no, no, take no, no, it no, with. No, 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 yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never. Yeah, this is a genius. What you've just said is genius. It's genius, Frankie. It's not good, but Because that's how I experienced the yeah. song. The first time yeah. I heard it, I, the first time I heard it was when you performed it. What was the party where you Kunye. did the? Kunye, yeah, 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 yeah. The first, and, and I watched that video. And I got a feeling from that. That's, that's how. I, that's true. I mean. Yeah. But to create music like that is oh, incredible. Because yeah. for me, it almost felt like uh, uh, the score of an epic, like a Troy, a Gladiator, mm. a Three Hundred. You now, know. now you understand why I I bothered you for 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 Babu Jonka, ladies and gentlemen. Anele made that happen. Oh, okay. So Anele made that Dr. happen. Dr. John Gani. Okay, yes. Doctor. Doc in fact, you know what, Zex, <laughs> you can't tell the story because you're going to tell it from your side. Yeah. I can't tell the story because I'm going to tell it from my side. Let's let Babu John Gani tell what? the story. Okay. Oh, Roll John Gani. I'm Honolulu in Hawaii doing a movie. I remember getting a call from Atandwa, my son, saying, Tata, do you know Zex Bandwini? I said, no. I've heard the name. He'd love you to make an appearance in his video, a music video. And then I thought, why would I appear in a music video? I'm an old man. And then, of course, I got a call from Anelim daughter who said, Dada, Zex Bandwini would like to talk to you about the project. Can I give him your number? I said, okay, I'll listen. The phone rang and the young man said, Molo Dada. That was it. I knew this was a young African son. 
as he was going on explaining this wonderful journey he wants to take through music throughout the length and breadth of Africa. I was thinking, I remember this young man, Victor Antoni, in a project they did with him, said he's the future of South African music. Huma Sagela said to me, that young man is gifted. And I remembered Ola Malon Brando appearing in a music video with Michael Jackson. Chevy Chase appearing in a music video with Paul Simon. I said, okay, I'll do it. We met on set. And as he was telling me the story of his life, the journey, his family, his beautiful wife, his friend that he collaborates with, I knew exactly that this young man has a vision. He sees where he's going and he's going to get there. We hear a song that takes over the rhythm of the beating of your heart. Then you know it speaks to you. Congratulations, Zakes. I wish I was there. I wish I could see the video, but I'll be back home soon. Guys, fantastic. And to that mad bunch of Anneli and the club, it's a classic. It's not a classic. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, oh wow, buddy. Wow. There we go. Wow. Whoa. Wow, guys. You, so that's you, the story, you, yeah? You guys didn't, you didn't have to do this, man. Yo, guys, this is just amazing. Uh, Anneli, thank you. Yeah, thank you to you and thank you to Atanda and um, because I know this I, I wouldn't put it you know I wouldn't put it off it needed it needed a lot of people who didn't only just believe in the music but who believed in me mm. and who wants to see me win mm. uh, this mm. moment I mean this song is a it's a song for everyone you know it's 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 when 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 I look at it like we I, I say to people we have number one and number one song to be number one in, in, uh, in South Africa for a very long time. It's a South African song. It's us. It's, mm. it's not, I mm. mean, now, this number one spot is not owned by an American song. Mm. It's a South African, it's mm. us. I mean, we may, we, it's all of us. I mean, I, I could be stupid if I claim this moment is, is my, it's mine alone. Yeah. I mean, I'll be very stupid. Um, I'm, I mean, I'll be thinking that I'm God. In moments like this, man, you don't create them. They are made for you. You just, you just, you happen to be one who anointed to say you are gonna lead this moment. You are just someone like who is just vessel. leading it. You're a vessel. Yeah, you're just leading it, sure. but it's not you. You know, um, you know how 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 dare you think that you can make a song like Osam? Like mm. it's you. Like it's your genius. Just can never be made. Dude. And it's just, it just, it won't die. Yeah. It, 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 it can't die. The yeah. song in 10, years. And then 20 you have years. someone like, we have like someone like Ubaba Uchonkani who is locked on, 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 on serious contract with biggest, biggest. With Hollywood. Marvel. Yeah, Marvel. Where his voice for the, until 2023, it belongs to Marvel. And he agrees and he fights with those people in saying, I want to be part of this thing. I'm going to make it happen. Sure, dude. It means something to me. Don't tell me about clauses. I'm gonna have it. You know, I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna do it. So yeah. I mean, oh. it has to be. So thank you guys. Thank okay. You. So like thank Frankie you. was saying, the first time he saw uh, this Osama performance mm-hmm. was at Gunya, and then there were people behind you. Ne? Yeah. Every time I see that happen, I'm so envious when I Ziggs. I'm just like, I want to be th- those people standing next to and then, and then And then you were like, Ziggs, and then I invited you on the 27 in Cape Town, and you didn't, you didn't pitch. Oh my word! I was, I was. Drinking. And your friends were there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where, where were you? No, but wait. They, they, and they, your friends were there. I think they had fun. No, they, they said it's the like, most oh, fun man. they've ever had. But I've committed myself to the next one now. When the is the 12th, next? The twelfth of, 12th of, 12th of Feb. Feb. Yeah, twelfth of Feb. Where? It is in Johannesburg. Um, I think it's right up in Sensin. What's that place? I forgot the name. Monarch. Yes. Is it Monarch? Yes. Yeah. Well, there's a big uh, air balloon. No, that's that. That's the the, the, the mushroom park. Mushroom yes, picnic. Mushroom yes. park. Where's yes, Tando? Yes. She knows the things. Come here, aren't you? Do, do you know? Do you know where the party is? Yeah. Yes, I do. Tell me. Come, this is Zakes' uh, PR, PR lady. lady is. Um, it's next to. It's in. It's on Mode Street. You see Mode Street that turns into Sandown Road Mm-mm, or Linden a, Street. I, okay, now we are. Now, <laughs> now, 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 now you're. Now, 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 you're, now you're Google Maps. <laughs> now you're Google Maps. <laughs> it's right opposite. I think it's right opposite. Red is in blue. Oh, I see yeah. it by where the Hyundai a yeah. balloon is. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, you see yeah. that one? I'm gonna come to. Yes. I promise you, Frankie. Oh, no, you know, we'll be there, but I mean, he's going to be on the decks. In yes. a second. Yeah, you're going to perform a summer for us and we're going to recreate that moment where everyone stands behind you. Yes. Okay, okay. Can, right. can we do that, please? Yeah, of course. Can please. we finally be the cool kids And now? then you have a red color. 
Yeah, you remember the guy was there the first time. Yes, it was the, yeah. he was this yellow. Yeah, we need to put something where you're going to stand on. Okay, no, I'm going to do that. <laughs> but before we get into that, one more voice note. And then when we come back, Zex Bandwin is performing Osama live on Anelia and the Club right here on 947. Hi, guys. My name is Robert Marawa. Ah. And I am a complete admirer of that gentleman that you are chatting to today. Dr. Zex, that's what I call him. <laughs> is a doctor because he has not taken a chance in music that is his calling he's a doctor because he has gone and studied music he has graduated in music and is now producing music he's always produced he's always delivered but i just think now finally the international market has opened up its ears and said yes we can welcome this level of content we can welcome this level of genius we can welcome this level of refreshing music and one thing i love about him is originality the energy and that is why i used to invite him so many times on thursday night live with marawa was because he was consistent so i celebrate him i celebrate osama maybe he can produce my album called bin laden